Thanks, Margie. Well, preservation continues in New Haven, Missouri, on a tiny church built in 1892. It's the Annabelle Chapel, located on the bluff overlooking the Missouri River's Pinckney Bend. New Haven Preservation Society member Sally DeForest brought this to my attention, and she joins us along with architect George Martin. And good morning to both of you. Good, good morning. morning. From what I understand, a congratulations is, is in order because you've been making some progress on this. We have. We have. It started out just as a old church <laughs> that needed a lot of renovation and a lot of help. It's on the historic register. Tell us about Annabelle. Who was she? Annabelle, she was an uh, enslaved person for 35 years. She was born um, outside of Herman, Missouri. And she um, was very instrumental in starting one of the few black churches around New Haven. This was the, uh, it became the AME. It was yes. the African Methodist Episcopal Church. Right. From what I understand, back in the late 19th century, she rode horseback throughout this she little did. German American community right. and collected money right. to not only buy the land, but also to the build building. the church. Also right. to build the church. That's right. Yeah. yeah. So when was it last used as a chapel or church? I'm not sure. About what... 1995, I think. I yeah. think that's about when it closed. Yeah. So everybody got together. George, what part have you played in this? Well, I came in afterward. I moved to New Haven about 20 years ago. And I was interested in architectural stuff, and I joined the Preservation Society. I didn't hear about Annabelle till about five years ago, actually. Mm -hmm. And we started looking at it and come to find out the Preservation Society had been instrumental in getting it put on the register for historic places, along with the Smith family. From what I understand, there was some talk of moving it, but it's got to stay in that spot. It's, it's got a beautiful to spot because right. it overlooks the, it, the river. It does. And uh, you, you've since, uh, you raised $130,000 yes, so far? so far. And yeah. you, you've built, a, you actually poured a new foundation for it? Right. right. And you're in the process. How much more money do you need and what needs to be done? We need about $200,000. Really? But Total. Renovation is expensive, and since we got into this about thirty year, uh, about three years ago, construction and labor costs have raised incre incrementally also. So we've got a lot of remediation work to do. We've got lead paint inside and out. We've got to remove, take, take care of that. Then we've got to replaster a lot of the building. Uh, part of the original plaster is off and has been removed for a number of years, and they have put a a wall board over that, which has got to come off and, and plaster again. So we've got a lot of work, and this is when it was lifted up in the air so we could put the new foundation and crawl space under it. So we'll relocate the HVAC equipment in the crawl space okay. and restore that part of it. Then the upstairs part where the HVAC had been added will make into a sort of a history area. All right, well, we want to put some information up uh, if people want to donate. It's tax deductible. Yes. And you can send that to NHPS, P.O. Box 338, New Haven, Missouri, 63068. This will be on our website as well, but it's a piece of American history. It is. Absolutely. It'll it be absolutely used perhaps is. for worshiping in the future That's or meetings. That's what we're hoping. We're, yeah. we're, hoping we're hoping it'll be used for everything. Continued success. Continued. Thank you so much. Yeah. Sally, George, appreciate it. We're going to take a little break. We have more Fox 2 News in the morning coming up right after this.